I'm concerned. Why do African women have such a problem with African American women going over to Africa to marry African men? He's a cheetah. Enjoy your coffee while it's hot. It will end in tears. Please drop your comment below, African women, so we can figure this thing out. We want to know. Okay, Auntie Wahala, here we go. Your video cannot be stitched, neither can it be downloaded. So here we go. The reason why African women say that, it is not coming from a place of malice. They are only trying to make you aware of the cultural differences. So I will lay out a few points to emphasize the cultural difference between African women and African American women. First point, in the African culture, most girls are raised to be wives, okay? I was born in Ghana, West Africa. I currently reside in Canada and my family is in America, but I was raised to be very domestic. So my mother would emphasize on waking up early, sweeping, knowing how to cook and helping around the house. Despite the fact that I went to a private school and I was raised in an urban center and I would say I was quite privileged, emphasis on raising African girls to become wives and mothers is an integral part of our culture. On the other hand, the same cannot be said for African American women. Most African American women are not raised to be wives. And this is not something that your men say. I have heard many African American women on Clubhouse talk about the fact that they were not raised to be wives, especially those that were raised by single mothers. They said they were raised to be strong, independent, and not rely or depend on a man. Point number two, in the African culture, Marriage is between two families, not two individuals, okay? African Americans operate based on Eurocentric values, making marriage a contract or a relationship between two individuals. In the African culture, when we are getting married, we are told that this union is between two families. And so as a woman, you'd have to love, respect, accommodate, and take care of your husband's family like your own. Also, in the African culture, your husband's family members, siblings, parents can come and live with you for a considerable period of time. That is something that is acceptable. But is this something that African-American women are used to and can cope with? Think about that. Point number three, African cultures endorse polygamy and also the relationship or a marriage is kept together by a woman and the fidelity of the woman, implying that a man's fidelity is not grounds for leaving the marriage. When I was growing up, my mother told me, if your husband cheats on you, do not leave the marriage. Stay there and take care of your children. And I am not saying this because I do not have a direct experience. My father, at some point in his life, was married to two women. My mother did not leave the marriage. My mother stayed to make sure we were straight. We knew our father and he took care of us. And today I have a PhD. My point is most African women understand that our culture is polygamous and that most men, you know, culturally are permitted to have more than one wife. And for those who claim monogamy, they are still cheating and having girlfriends on the side. These are some of the cultural differences between African women and African American women. So when African women say it will end in tears, they are not saying that from a place of malice or pain, but it is also important for African American women to realize that the only leverage they have over African women is their American citizenship and their American passport. I am not trying to be shady or disrespectful, but most of the men that African American women go back to Africa to marry are not from, you know, high class families or upper class families. And so for most of them, this marriage is a way out for them. You know, it's a way out for them to come to America to have a better life. So I would like to end on this note. If you are an African American woman going to Africa to get married, Ask yourself, if you were not American and you did not have American passport, would that man choose you and marry you? That is a question for you to talk about. However, I am also a firm believer in the fact that you can use what you have to get what you want. So I love all African-American women. And if you choose to go to the continent to find a husband, do so. Just remember, anytime an African woman says it will end in tears, she is not saying that from a place of malice. All she's saying is that our worldview and our culture is different and you should pay attention to that.